So today's briefing was to provide not just the Australian media but the world media a bit of a brief on, on how we've gone about the repair process for Nancy Bird, our A380 OQA. The repair's been finished, the aircraft is due to fly out tomorrow night, um, we'll be back into service soon and we can't wait. It's been a very complex repair, some major wing restoration was required with some of the main structural parts there. Uh, Airbus and the Qantas engineering team here have worked very closely together. Uh, it has been a long timeline. Any damage to a wing is, uh, is, is crucial. Uh, to have so much damage to some of the major structural parts made this a very, very complex repair. There was over 200 people from, I think, uh, eight different countries uh, just in the Airbus team alone. The problem with it happening in a place like Singapore, Qantas doesn't have a heavy maintenance facility here, we only have line maintenance capability, so there's no way we were going to be able to do this repair or recovery with our own capability. We had to lean on Airbus, Singapore Airlines Engineering and our own people from Australia to, to effect this repair. This aircraft is as good as new. Um, in the test flights that have taken place, it's performing better than a new aircraft would um, on delivery. It's a very young aircraft, and it's a, it's a, it's as I said, it's the pride of the fleet, the flagship of the fleet. And if we, if we could economically repair it, we were always going to do that. It's about bringing, I suppose, the aircraft back to Australia and, and letting the Australian public being able to, to fly on it and appreciate the aircraft as much as we do. Tonight is um, the continuation of that flight, 535 days later, and uh, it's, it's a completion. So we're, we're com completing the service. Uh, tonight, however, there'll be no passengers on board, there'll be a number of media, and uh, most of the original crew, as many as we could muster, and uh, we have the privilege of being on the flight and almost closing a chapter in the, in the history of this aircraft. You've become very attached to this aircraft, you know, she is our queen, basically. <laughs> so we are just really, you know, personally I'm just excited to see her back in one piece and have her back in the sky where she belongs. The mission wasn't completed uh, 15 months ago and to see that last call for Qantas 32 to walk down and to see all the people who helped us, the, the ground staff being there, it was really great to be amongst them. They're proud, I'm proud, it's great to be on board and it's just a, a, a final celebration of how the aircraft survived a Black Swan event and it proved it to be a remarkable structure. I think it's over, overbuilt and over-designed just like the Sydney Harbour Bridge.